Hi everybody. In this video we're going to look at Audio MIDI Setup on the Mac. Um, Audio MIDI Setup is a utility application that lets you configure your computer so that it understands all of the connected MIDI interfaces and MIDI devices. Uh, by doing so, that enables you to access all of those devices from within Pro Tools. So there are two basic parts to configuring AMS. The first thing we're going to do is set up the MIDI Studio, so that details how all of the devices are connected to the computer. Then the second thing we'll do is name and set up each MIDI device individually and specify how it transmits and receives data. The first thing we're going to do is configure the MIDI Studio. The window that you see here is the MIDI window in AMS, and you can see that this window is already populated with a few different devices. Most of your class compliant devices should come up automatically when you launch Audio MIDI Setup. If they don't for some reason, you can click the Rescan MIDI button there in the toolbar. If they still don't show up, you may need to go to the manufacturer's website and download drivers for that particular device. You can see that I have a USB keyboard connected. That's the USB Pro Keys 88. And that particular keyboard functions as its own MIDI interface. So there's really not much else that we need to do to configure that one. Then you can also see that I have a generic MIDI interface. And this is where you could connect an external device that actually has physical MIDI connections. So let's take a look at how we would do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Add Device button. So I'll come up here and click Add Device. And you can see the device kind of pops up right there. And then I can configure its MIDI inputs and outputs by drawing virtual patch cables between the MIDI interface and the device. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take the interface out and I'll connect that to the device input. And then I'll take the device out and I'll connect that to the MIDI interface input. I just click and drag to draw these virtual patch cords between those connections. We'll go ahead and set up another device here just so you can see that again. So I click Add Device. And this one I'm actually going to connect to the physical MIDI connections on my Pro Keys 88 keyboard. It's capable of acting as a MIDI interface so that I can connect an additional device. So again, I'll take that interface out to the device in, and then the device out back to the interface in. And that pretty much completes the first step of the process, which is to configure the MIDI Studio setup. So let's go ahead and move on to the second step, which is actually configuring these individual devices. So for this first external device, the one that's attached to the MIDI interface, let's imagine that it's a typical workstation keyboard like a Yamaha Motif or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that new external device, and I will give it a device name like Motif, oops, Motif, and that manufacturer is Yamaha, model Motif. And now that I've done that, I can decide how many MIDI channels I want this device to transmit and receive. For transmission purposes, because we're using Pro Tools as the sequencer, we may only need it to transmit on one channel. So I'll go ahead and disable these other channels. So I have 1 and then 2 through 16 are disabled. And then you could decide if it needs to transmit beat clock or MIDI timecode. But I'm going to allow this one to receive all 16 channels because that way I can use up to 16 different parts inside of the Yamaha when I play back MIDI inside Pro Tools. And I don't really need to change much else. Now I could go ahead and change that icon uh, to something that's somewhat more representative of that particular keyboard. Um, you know, maybe something like this guy. Now I'll hit apply there. And then I can go ahead and close that window and you can see that that device is now set up as the motif. Now let's take a look at this second device. Let's imagine that this one is just a controller keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and I'll say controller and we can leave manufacturer and model blank. You don't have to fill those out. And because it's a controller, it's not going to receive on any MIDI channels. And again, I'll probably just have it transmit on channel one. And we can click on the icon, change it to something that looks a little bit more like a controller, uh, maybe this guy. Apply. And now our entire MIDI setup is reflected in this MIDI Studio configuration. 